Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. We are surrounded by a world of secret codes. Secret codes. These secrets are language codes. One wag in a moment of frustration made the statement, every profession is a conspiracy against the layman. Just stop and think about that. If you've worked with your IRS recently, that whole form, you wonder, oh, why can't they simply say what they mean? If you have talked to a lawyer, you know how they have a way of embalming the law in legalese. And you say to yourself, why can't they speak English? If you've talked to or tried to read scientists, they have a way of keeping the little people at bay with symbols and in-house jargon. I could go on and on. The insurance business. You talk to insurance people about insurance policies. It's amazing that language, that, that code that needs to be deciphered, or the medical profession, or the dental profession, or the banking world, the computer world, the engineering world. Oh, I just have a bone to pick with these secret languages that are kicked around, and then I suddenly realize I'm in a profession that does it too. Theologians and ministers have a way with hermeneutics and homiletics and predestination and premillennialism and pre-tribulationalism and superlapsarianism theories and <laughs> reconciliation and eschatological forecasts and aorist imperatives, and I'm in it too, I confess. Long words have paralysis in their tails. And we need to decipher our stuff. Legend has it that a young copywriter came up with an ad for a new kind of soap that read, the alkaline element and fats in this product are blended in such a way as to secure the highest quality of saponification along with a specific gravity level that keeps it on top of the liquid, relieving the bather of the trouble and annoyance of fishing around for it at the bottom of the tub during his ablution. <laughs> and a seasoned writer simply wrote two words, it floats. <laughs> Someone did a study of the great writers like Somerset Maugham and Robert Louis Stevenson and um, Charles Dickens and Sinclair Lewis, and they found that between 70 and 78 percent of their writings were single-syllable words. I applied that to the scriptures, and I found that Psalm 23 has 73 percent single-syllable words. The Lord's Prayer has 76 percent one-syllable words. The greatest treatise ever written on love, 1 Corinthians 13, 80% single-syllable words. No wonder they're beloved pieces of writing. No wonder we remember them and quote them and easily memorize them. We can understand them. There's no code to be deciphered. There's no secret in-house jargon for the initiated. You don't have to know one theory to love the 23rd Psalm. No matter the language, it just comes in like a blanket and warms you. God offers you and I His kingdom. That's an amazing thought, isn't it? Even though we're rebellious, He's eager to pour out His grace and mercy on us. And that's why He's given us His Word. Scripture is God's invitation for us to know Him. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, 
It Involves His Kingdom, Part 1, was copyrighted in 1986, and the Slifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2015 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.